What's up guys, welcome to another video. So in this video uh, today we are in Carmouth. Um, I'm made from Cape Town, Don. He invited me down there. So me and my friend Johan from Jeffrey's here, we hopped in a car, we went down, we spent three days there. The first time I actually got to use a drone properly for myself. Where better to do it than on a wild coast trans guide point? searching for those seriously big fish with that heavy, heavy tackle. And yeah, it was, it was good. Um, lack of preparation for my Mazeppa trip coming up soon. And um, the first day on arrival, we were straight in on it. Uh, I got stuck into two nice greys, or one very nice grey, 130 odd kilos and one of 70. And Johan also managed one of about 45 kilos. And unfortunately that footage got swapped. So you won't be seeing any of that in this video, but you will be seeing Don, and Don's getting stuck into a very nice grey. Good morning! It's my birthday today, and we are going to chase a birthday fish. So, today we're feeling strong, positive, got some good bait out, and let's give it a bash. What are you doing? I'm filming you. Seek! Let's go, 300 kilos. Day number, oh, day number two, but official day number one. Stunning day there. As you can see, Don's building a nice bait. Uh, she's a little bit bigger than yesterday. We got our front of there. We all know him, Eastern Cape, little front of front front of. He's also probably going to make a video today. And there's old Don. Let's have a look at his bait. Got something special there for the smaller size duskies. <coughs> Looking at... Uh, Breaking into the 200s, just a soft starter. <laughs> Let's go! Beautiful surroundings here on the wild coast. Really, really, really nice. Ready? That's better. You! <laughs> That's better. Woo -hoo -hoo! TK bus, baby! I've been a proper fish. Proper, proper grunia. Phew! Yeah, duck one. First drop of the morning, 10 minutes and we tight. Dropped out a little uh, smallish size uh, grey nugget, a couple of hundred meters out. Went away with what seems like a decent fish. Hopefully it's one of those big men in grey shoots that we're looking for, eh? Yeah. I really want a 200 kilo fish, so let's see if we can get it out. That nice fish, and he's on over here. About 40, 40 minutes in already. He 
suckling. Look at no him. Sign of like him. a pathetic. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Fishman hell guys. We're just running to help Don land his fish now I got a bite. It's not perfect timing. Phew! Feels like a nice bite. <coughs> Yo! Ah! Alright guys, check what happened here, you see it just broke, it's quite a bad chafing here and I did check my line yesterday so I might have dropped over a reef or something along those lines but it was a proper proper bite, it really was a nice fish. Oh well, this might be a blessing, we need to get Don's bait out, ach Don's fish out. Yeah. So. I'm going to try and work it around to duck on. The seas are a little bit hairy on this side and a lot flatter on that side. And with a low tide, there's quite a lot of exposed reef over, reef over here. So we're just going to try and get him to swim around and go into the pond. But um, I have to sort of keep him on a short string because it's a big fish and I want him to go around the next point or come back right. So this is uh, quite technical now. I'm going to have to use my wits and get a bit of luck. See if we can't get this fish on the on the rocks. Alright, so when we're fishing all these transcar points, it really is, it's a team effort landing a fish. It, it, it's, it, it's really difficult. Um, in, in Don's case with this lovely grey that we caught, it was me on the leader, it was Frano on the leader. As soon as the fish was close enough, Don gave over his rod and Don was on the leader. Yuan was vigilant, vigilantly watching the sea for us. It, it, it really is a all hands on deck process. That's why some of the filming might also might be a little bit scattered. Um, but there's no beach close by. You gotta make do with what you get. Where the fish goes, you gotta land him. So obviously, you try to take him to the safest place. Humans, we can't France and bring a comedian. Drop, drop, drop. Do I get on front? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Waar gaan we zo optreden? Ja, back, hè? Ik vind dat nog omgaan. Ja. Wij zien snel, ik zit. Check zo hoort er. Maar kijk. Ja. Zij. Ja, zij. Water, yeah. It's a nice fish. Beastie! Yeah. Give me a half bro. We got him out, guys. Got him away nicely. We were just patient with the waves. And uh, we had you on checking out the waste, but we got enough. Nice time. Crack the fish. Took years to get there, bro. Awesome fish. Start for the guiding group. Let's get another one. Eventually, this thing decided to go away basically right here in front. It's not a big fish, but it's not a piece. It's not a piece. It's not bait. Well, I don't think it's bait. Regga-toot! Ah, spike! Oeh, 
Nog je moeg, bro. Het is warm, bro. Het komt over de Actually, coincidentally, we've also been here at Kai the last couple of days. So we arranged to fish close to each other today, and he was just to the left of us. And yeah, it's the second fish for the for the day. First one was a small young fish. And this one seems like a better fish, and it's also helped us obviously land ours. And um, yeah, hoping some of those bites come through that came through yesterday afternoon when we arrived. The ones that. I hope we still have the footage of. Um, yeah, the bites we are here this afternoon. So, I'm sure, if we wait a bit, hold on tight, leave those baits in a bit, let them soak. We're gonna cross cross paths is a good one. Let's check what Francie got. So you can all my first heart. Anybody has seen me? Harder than no. Oei! Nee, hey, moet je zo weer de Ja, dan kan ik die manoeuvre doen. Je hebt gezien poep! Je hebt gezien! Hier! Je moet je hand niet vragen! Je zei is regi! It's a big black paley guys, moves the thing. Get on. Right on, man. I can't. So, holding on to that fish for dear life. Don't know if you can see what it did to my jacket. Got a proper little burn there as well. It's even stayed behind on the leader. Check how blue the leader is. <laughs> Do one gave me some luck now. No, <laughs> no I'm going to catch a grey. <laughs> Pull you up. Okay, you must have dropped off the way. 1.8? 1.8? Yeah. Phew! Good luck! Johan <laughs> just said, what did you say? We're going to go drop shot. But I don't want to buy it. He said, Johan, okay. So, Johan still on here? 
around for a couple of minutes now. Seems like quite a nice fish, but not too big. Seems manageable. Kind of ignorant. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for you, baby. Don't know how you make it me feel this way. What can I say? That's what I like about you. So dangerous. I didn't have to do I need to do it. Mars and wait first. This was fun. Fortunately, Johan lost this fish. Um, he did very well uh, to get it close by. It was playing along nicely. I went down to grab the leader, and a serious set of waves came through, and I just couldn't get it down in time. And unfortunately, the waves pushed the line into the rocks, it got snagged and, and unfortunately got them off. Um, it's just one of those things, unfortunately, is going to happen with these transcribe points. Uh, but this was the end of day one, so I quickly put the drone up in the air while we were packing up, took some lack of footage and it really is a beautiful place. Mm -hmm.